Hello folks and welcome to my channel. We're doing a real quick little video. I'm uh, going to play some uh, World of Warplanes actually. It's a it's a free to play game. Download it. Play it. And the nice thing about it is uh, is you don't have to spend a single penny on it. Um, say you go to the, you want to get a plane. You'll start off with these tier 1 planes up here at the top. And then you can gradually work your way down as you play longer. There are different um, actions represented by different countries. USSR, Germany, Japan, UK, China, and Europe. And uh, some of the countries have a lot more planes. Some of them don't have so many planes. As you can see, um, such as China... <coughs> This plane here, you must have 12,500 gold coins to buy. Um, and gold coins are the, um, the coinage of this game. Basically, you're representing your, your real gold. You can earn that as you play. Um, I've used little bits here and there. Um, <clears throat> never actually bought any. <clears throat> I have. Um, I purchased a premium account for one month just to see the difference. And there is a there is a significant difference in the experience points you earn per flight, um, your rewards that you gain, because for instance, I'll go to a country I haven't really done a lot of advancement on. You can see the I-5 here in the Russian tech tree um, is one that I already own. You can see the experience that aircraft has, the free XP that. It aircraft has the total amount of experience points that aircraft has you can see below the aircraft that are available to upgrade to you can see I already own this one but say I wanted to get this one for instance <clears throat> that's gonna cost me 3,700 coins I've got that here in the current credits um, and so that's not a problem the only issue I run into is your hangar space is extremely limited. I have a lot of, I mean, I do have a, I do have two vacant slots available, and I can always purchase an aircraft. But as you can see, I've got a few that I enjoy playing on a regular basis. Um, the Roman numerals next to the plane, of course, show the uh, the tier of that plane. Easiest aircraft to play to fly are going to be your tier one. I've selected one offhand just to, to show you how the flight mechanics are. I have worked my way up to uh, tier 7, or 8 rather, in this P-51. Um, it takes uh, a considerable bit of skill because the, uh, the AI and the other players that you come across at that level are much, much better. And the goals that you have to achieve in those levels um, are harder to achieve. Um, this one here just being your basic multi-role fighter. I've, I've flown it enough to where I've gotten the specialist configuration unlocked, which only means I have just a little bit more access to, like, armaments. A little bit better armament, a little better survivability. Um, this plane is, uh, is pretty basic, so I'll go, I'll jump right into it. And I'll show you what it's like. Normally at this tier, it doesn't take a whole lot. You end up by playing with bots. Um, you're going to find that a lot in this game. You're going to pl play against uh, AI most of the time. Um, especially at lower tiers, which is fine. Attention! You are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good luck. <clears throat> I don't mind playing uh, with AI in the lower tiers. It's just the stakes aren't very high. You normally can single-handedly win a, a battle. As you can see, um, you're going to spawn here and the enemies are going to spawn over there. There's going to be an airstrip in the middle and three garrisons surround the area. As you see your map on the bottom right, your mouse on the PC is going to control your, your pilot. I normally go for the closest garrison. It's going to be the closest one to take over. The blue dots are going to indicate friendlies. The white dots are enemies, air defense aircraft. 
I usually aim to take out several of these in my first sortie as I fly over the area. Put a dent in these guys. Just slow down when you go to turn. That'll give you a little better turn radius. Watch out for the ground guns. Can't really do a whole lot other than just get the job done quickly. And looks like we already took that one. Enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. So the airstrip is going to be where the remainder of the fight's probably going to take place. I hold the W, the w as my boost. I have my screen HUD set up just so I can see my altitude, my climb, my altimeter. You can see the, the yellow circle below me because I do have some bombs. Look for this guy here because he's going to be the closest one to me. This guy next. Try and lead them a little ways. Watch where they're going. Be prepared for them to ram you. A lot of the AI, for some reason, will ram you. This guy's flying pretty high. There we go. If we can hold this spot, we'll probably take over this map. I'm going to stay here for a moment, keeping my eye on the guys and the garrison to the left. Looks like a few of them are going to the one on the right. So I'm going to try and rescue my pal. He's got somebody on his tail over here, I believe. No, nope, that's a bomber. Always take out the bombers if you can. They're going to put a lot of damage on the field. They usually have rear-facing guns also, so be aware of that while you're chasing them. Bombers are the hardest to take down. Because the name is in red, you can tell that it's an actual player. Well, usually. Not always. Usually. down. There's another one over here. I'm trying to hit him off a little bit as he's chasing my pal. I'm going to lose some airspeed here. Oh, uh, you see the red circles? That means he's a Japanese plane. Those do not have a lot of hit points, so they're pretty easy to take down. At least in this game. I mean, typically in World War II, the zeros were pretty easy. They were just highly maneuverable. I'm basing that mostly on my experience with the Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 2. That was a very well done game. I'm going to zip over here because it looks like there's a battle going on for this garrison. And I want to try and tip the scales. As long as we don't lose the airfield... There's four enemies coming in there. That might have been a bad choice on my part. I'm going to try and take this guy out, drop my bombs, turn around, and head back real quick. Where are some ground targets? Ground target over there. Oh wait. There's an air defense craft. 
Any of those white ones, the air defense craft, those are the ones that are going to be just focused on that station. They're going to be the easiest ones to take out. That's an enemy aircraft. Might not be a real player. But they definitely have a rear gunner. And they're going to tear me up. There we go. Trying to take this guy out on my way out. <clears throat> Follow him. And the battle for the airfield is continuing. Still pretty close battle. We've still got superiority right now. I'm keeping an eye on my map to see which direction the guy in front of me is heading. He probably won't turn around until after he's made a pass. Way to go! Victory is close! Over the airfield. This one looks like it's it's one. As long as I don't slack off. Hang in there. <laughs> You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. You'll see when that squall line timer reaches zero, that means that if you get shot down, you will not be able to respawn into the airfield. Um, usually, if I'm close to shooting somebody down when that timer is near a zero, I'll wait. We're at 20 seconds. I might wait these 10 seconds. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. There we go. And you can see your awards if you'd like to hover over those. Get different awards, different things. I always like to look at this one here. Best results, multi-roll fighter. And I always look look to make sure I get the one or two in the combat group. Return to hangar. And that's pretty much it. That's a basic battle there. Um, what I usually do every day um, when I used to play this every day is I would log into my, uh, my tier one aircraft, fly those just to get the rewards, the credits, and any gold that you might be awarded. As you can see in this one, I was awarded 12,000 credits, 2,000 experience, 103 uh, free experience. Now, the free experience can be used towards any plane, um, any objective. And see when I go to the team score, you can see my score. My personal points, 7,400. Uh, now, Zocap82 is probably a real player. I'm going to go ahead and click on add. Add to contacts, just because he did a pretty good job. And um, I want to make sure to stay in touch with the real players that I see. They're kind of getting harder and harder to come across in this game. So I do. Alright. And that's going to be that for uh, the Tier 1. When you get to Tier 2, it gets just a little bit harder. <coughs> Objectives are pretty much the same. I'll show you the Tier 2. The planes are going to fly a little bit different. Some of the planes, uh, your uh, your weapon will overheat, so you have to stop with that. Give it a chance to cool off. Some of the planes are going to have a better turn radius than others. Some of the planes will have uh, better armor, better hit points, better uh, ability to resist the enemies. There's also different ammunitions you can purchase. Um, incendiary. Um, it's not too detailed to where you get lost in it, but it's just detailed enough to give you something to press on for and feel like you're getting a bit of a tactical advantage for getting those things, which you do. Um, so that's why I have loved this game, that and it's being free to play. You're approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Typically in these maps, part of your group will spawn down here, part of the group will spawn up there. Of course, we're going to be the blue, spawn up here, spawn down there. You need to protect these forward airstrips, the garrison and the airstrip. 
Typically I go for the airstrip first and work my way across to the garrison. If it looks like I'm meeting heavy firepower and resistance in either of these, I'll usually fall back and just try and hold one. If it looks like the enemy is holding one and they're pushing against me and I'm meeting too much resistance, I'll go all the way around to the other side and work my way back. Just because there's no, no use to keep fighting a losing battle if you can give up a point of contention where they want to focus their forces, you, can do, pilots. Let's roll. you can usually take that, they'll give it up, and then they'll focus on that one. That's the AI for you. Sometimes the artificial intelligence just wants to focus on one, holding one point. And I do have some bombs, so... Looks like the rest of my team is doing a pretty good job with that. I'm going to drop that there. I'm going to focus on this enemy here. Just because, like I said, the white ones are going to be easier to shoot down. That will give you control of the point first. Get my brakes. Throttle up. music that means that we just took over this point so I'm going to attack this other player that's probably a bomber because I'm picking some I'm taking some turn fire here and I should probably peel away if I was smart I don't want to do that so I'm going to hold on to this point Chase them back to the center. While he's being chased, I'll help out my teammate. You work as a team, you get a lot more done. Whoa, man, that was not smart. That was obviously not a real player because they wouldn't have turned. Going down. Take this guy out before he does too much more damage. Keep an eye on the guy below me because he's probably. I'm gonna speed up a little bit to lose my tail. Take this guy out. I want to take out this bomber because he's gonna make it harder for me to reacquire locations. Slow down a lot because when you get to this point, you can't really slow down too much or you'll stall. You'll fall right out of the sky like a rock. Looks like we're doing pretty good holding these two spots, so I'm going to zip back, try and protect that one. I'm about halfway as far as damage I've taken. Not too bad. If you can shoot down an enemy plane over these areas, it'll allow you some more control points, make it harder for them to re to acquire it. That one's probably a bomber. We're gonna take a minute to take it down. So I'm gonna start slowing down right now, so when I pass it, I can turn around quickly. Shot of this one. Looks like I'll be in luck. I'll be able to take him out. Refocus on my initial target. And if I'm lucky, nobody gets on my tail. Like these guys are preparing to. I can see it. I can see it on the map. And my guns are overheating. Woo! Wing got damaged in that explosion. That doesn't happen very often. It just happened to be close enough to him. And if somebody drops bombs and you happen to be close to the ground, that's also going to hurt you. Okay, bring 
everything's operational again. Let's slow down. There we go. That was a little bit dangerous there. He's shooting his rockets. Gonna make it harder. For us to hold this spot. If they can take out enough ground targets, they'll get a lot of points. So you want to try and take these guys out quickly. Sounds like I'm getting shot at again. Can't believe he's actually trying to do a loop in that big old plane. So I can slow down a lot more than he can because he's got a bigger, heavier plane. I can whip back around. As long as they are over the airfield or within this circle, my team will get points when he gets shot down. The problem is he's using rockets and bombs and destroying objectives as quickly as we can take them down. I'm going to turn around. I'm just way too close to me effectively firing at him. There we go. Speed up Tad. Refocus. We got this. I'm just gonna try and get some more bullets into this guy before. I uh, hope. We'll be waiting for you back <coughs> I was just gonna say I hope we win this before he shoots me down because then I'll lose my my badges, my rank. Top pilot, flying smart. All right. That was tier two, just to give you an idea. A little bit harder, um, you start running into bombers like that. Each tier is gonna have its own little specialty that you'll need to overcome. And each different type of aircraft is also gonna be slightly different. For instance, I have a bomber here, and this is mostly just going to be flying really high, dropping your bombs, turning around, dropping bombs, hoping no enemies come near you to shoot you down because you really depend on uh, on your teammates to protect you with this. So hence, I don't have any any farther uh, bombers in tier five. I do have the tier six. Course air, I really enjoy it, so I'm, I've held on to it. I don't want to lose it, even though uh, at times I've needed the uh, hangar slots. Um, I also love the P-38 Lightning. Um, it's more of what I call a boom and zoom. Um, you can carry rockets, bombs. Um, it's it's pretty survivable as far as you know tier six planes go. But it's uh, it's not a, a super maneuverable plane. It's not one you want to go down in there like like you've seen in tier one and two. Uh, you do not want to get down there and start getting into little dogfights. I'll show you a, a flight with it right now. It's been a while since I played this, so if I get shot down, um, try and make a try and explain what I think went wrong. This, this queue might take just a little bit longer. No, nope. gonna pop right up, cool. So we might also be looking at a bunch of a artificial again. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. We're gonna be in the Cursed Valley. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is probably take the closest garrison and then head to a command center. Those command centers in these are extremely important. You're going to get resources every five seconds. It's going to call in bomber flights, which are going to fly in the map and bomb enemy territories. And the only reason I go for the garrison first is because it is closest to me. Show me what you can do, pilots. Let's roll. 
I usually stay about level where I'm at until I get closer to my objective. If I remember correctly, I think it's the R that fires a, a rocket. Yep, okay. I'm under AA fire, so this is where I'm going to dive down. Fire a rocket. Fire a rocket. Try not to turn any more than that because you'll find yourself drop bomb and climb. Try not to pay attention to that enemy on your tail or the damage because at this point you've made your sortie. Looks like somebody's doing the same thing over here. Darn. See, I shouldn't have engaged. That one had much better maneuverability and rockets. And if I'm not mistaken, they probably hit me with a rocket. It's difficult to hit other planes with a rocket. It really is. Um, I'd like to say almost impossible, but that's only because I haven't been able to do it. Once you get shot down, you're shown circles in the areas that um, are under your control that you can spawn from. I'm going to go here because it looks like uh, this area just got taken over and it's going to need to be re-established. We're going to need to fight for it. There is a lock. You see that little lock circle on there? Um, I'm going to do what I shouldn't do and try and engage this guy I should be able to engage him pretty quickly here there we go I'm going to peel off to the right looks like the rest of my team is going in for that one so I'm going to start a dive down here. I do have rockets, but I don't see any ground targets available except for that one. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah, I waited too long for that. So I'm going to use my uh, thrusters to try and get away. See, I waited too long. Got the, some enemies on my tail. That's the problem with this one. Is you really need to consider where the enemies are. You don't want them to get on your tail. They can take you down pretty fast if you don't climb up. At a pretty good angle. You want to get good speed going down. Pull out of it early enough. So you can climb back up. So I'm going to try and gain some more altitude here. The enemy has control of all key objects. Yeah. You cannot leave it like that. That's going to be an issue for us. Come back down. Level off. See how uh, my speed and my altitude are in orange. So I'm at the limits of the lowest speed and the highest altitude this plane should be at. I'm going to practically nose down just so I can bomb that as I pull out. One. I'm looking to uh, rocket that. Rocket that. Pull out. Step it up. We're losing the battle. And get on out of there. And if we're lucky, no. Not so lucky. See if I now see that shows you the uh, aircraft that shot me down. See that one has one, two, three, four thicker arrows. Those are your enemy aircraft. The lighter, smaller ones are actually air defense aircraft. The enemy force is too strong. 
smaller, lighter aircraft that are slightly easier to take down, generally speaking, unless, of course, it's like a bomber. Enemy bombers are usually really hard, difficult to take down because they have a lot of hit points. Most of them are flying very high in the sky, and you have to climb to get them. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the lightning. It's it's a difficult plane for me to master. You really got to be in the mindset of the boom and zoom, get in, bomb, fly away. Um, you doesn't always work out well for me, but that's how the uh, that's how the P thirty eight J lightning is flown. Uh, one of my favorite planes to fly is the Japanese the Mitsubishi A7M just because it's highly maneuverable I can usually fly the way I like which is usually the dogfighting style I can outturn, outmaneuver most other planes in the sky uh, without any issues I mean this plane is capable of outturning any other plane in the sky you just need to know what you're doing. You slow down when you're turning. Uh, occasionally you can get into a turning battle and that just that's just doomed for both of you. Because eventually someone's gonna you come You're approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. So again, in these, you wanna go for the mining plants. The command centers are extremely important as well. Um, so try and take down a command center. Good luck, have fun. And if we're lucky, uh, there's a real player out there. Stay together and go clockwise, they said. So I guess we'll start on the left side. I'm going to watch the rest of the crew and see if they're listening. Get ready for I really action. feel like... Let's go. Okay, somebody's marking that one. Feeling like we should start there. So that's where I'm going to go for. Engine overheated. See, of course, you usually hold the W at the very beginning. Try and get some speed so I can get to the area first. The faster you get in there, peel away. targets and focus on the air. I find it's extremely difficult while you got so many guns on the ground firing at you. So if you take a couple of ground targets out first, that gives you a much better chance of taking over the area. Where we get shot from here. That's one less gun that will be firing at us. Okay. We got it. I'm going back to try and take out. Try and use my. Bomber squadron detected. Engage them immediately. Try and use my speed at my advantage. I should take out first here. I'm gonna try and rescue my teammate here first. Oh, it's gonna peel away. Ah. I think the guy that I was just shooting at peeled away and jumped on my tail when I did that. 
usually when you fire at somebody, they're going to turn around and come back at you. And I just wanted to try and save my teammate there. That was a bad choice on my part. I should have... If I was going to peel away, I should have dove and ran off. Make it harder for him to catch up to me. Just to keep him occupied. So as you can see, my only available spawn point is here. There are two enemies over here. I might want to head that direction to try and uh, take them out. But it looks like the rest of my team is over there. They should be able to handle that. So instead, I'm going to head over here and try and take out the Lone Ranger that's over here. I believe he's too high of an altitude because he just dropped off the radar. Maybe he's down low. There he is. As you can see, he's heading right in. There's another one on the other side of the circle right there. It's coming my way, more or less. And there's another flight. I'm going after this guy. I'm going to try a boom and zoom. That worked. I lost all my airspeed there in that fight. I'm going to try and get this guy back. So I'm going to climb so he does not have an altitude advantage over me. As he's coming around nosing towards me. There he goes. He's out. Do you see enemy craft coming in here? He's within the circle. He is not, and I can only tell you that by looking at the overhead map. Ah. Okay. Another thing you can do if you're really curious as to what targets to head for, um, if you hit your tab, it'll show the, uh, the enemy team and your team. Look for the one with the highest amount of points on the enemy team, Calvin. He's the one that just shot me down, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. And you'll see the ones that you should probably head for. Um, Plato is probably a real player just because he's doing so well. I'm not doing so well here. I'm only second in my team. But I'm going to look for Calvin if I'm ever in a battle again. But watch out for him. And any of these top three here. Flip, Jackstrom, Jay Wickstrom. If you're ever looking for somebody, you can always hold your tap alt button. It will show you the exact distance they are away from you. And their names. Seven, five. About rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. The port will be unable to reach you. Do you read me, over? This is one where I have a difficult time trying to make sure nobody gets on my tail. Like there. <coughs> yeah, it's been a while since I played this, but you're getting the basics, you're seeing the difference between the different planes. This plane is high enough level where my guns will overheat if I keep laying on them. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you uh, copy? Well, it's at least 475 to 478 to 393. Stars. It's close. They're gaining more points at the moment, so they could overtake us before we reach the goal. So this could be a close one. I'm going to try and head straight while climbing a bit. Try and reach it to that garrison. Maybe if we can take over that garrison, we can get some more points. Or at least stop them from gaining some more. Ten thousand. 
Okay, the squall line is approached, which means that they're not going to be able to res respawn either. So I need to be extremely careful that I don't get somebody behind me. All positions are captured by the enemy. You must turn the tide of the battle. I feel like I'm in a dangerous position here. I'm gonna try and get these guys off my tail by diving. Hopefully, I can try and keep them a touch. Maybe I can flip back up. And if I'm lucky, beat him in a turn. Turn back. The enemy force is too strong. Nope. Well, at least I didn't get shot down. But. Always oh, type good game or well done. Uh, just let them know. If you're fighting if you're playing against real players, let them know it's appreciated. We're going to go back to our hangar. Like I said, this uh, this plane is one of my favorites. The biggest issue with it, though, is it has very little, very little to no armor. Um, the guns are really good, but it has no hit points, no armor. Survivability is, is really nil. No bombs or rockets. We're going to go ahead and close that one out. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Um, yeah, I might as well show you what this one is like. It is uh, a totally different level. Got basically the same play style. You just do not want to get into a turning game. Do not try and outturn another plane in in something you know that doesn't have that great of a turning radius. <clears throat> P-51 is a great plane, though. My problem is I overheat the guns way too much because I lay them on. And when you're flying at these higher levels, you really don't even want to start firing until you know for sure your bullets are going to hit. And at these higher levels, of course, um, it's much more difficult to you know, get the uh, artificial intelligence to work with you. <clears throat> So it helps to learn shortcut keys. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. It's gonna be a tough one. Again, we're looking at the command centers, and the mining plants, the garrisons. Sometimes you end up with a big fight, big battle in the center for the garrison once each team has taken one of each of the mining plants and command centers. on this mining plant and ask the rest of my team to do the same and hopefully if we're lucky I'll get a little assistance from the robots. And if we're lucky we can stay low enough to where those guns won't catch us but I can get them before I take out any of my teammates. I left one behind me that I can then turn around now and get. I was focusing on uh, trying to get one out before my guns overheated. There we go. Climb and focus on that one. Of course, you're not going to get all the points for destroying those guns because there's two buildings next to it. If 
you really want to take over this area, best way is to take those out also. Usually somebody comes along with a bomb, finishes this job for you. Doesn't look like anybody's battling over the center yet, but there's several of us battling over here. Those enemy players are probably going to head, head here. Enemy bombers detected. Destroy them. I'm going to try and focus on the enemy players, seeing as it's locked for the next five seconds. That would give me enough time to maybe get into position. Nope. No such luck. Try to take out those air defense aircraft first. Of course, I got shot down by an enemy player. He's got a jet, so that's going to be the fastest plane available at this time. For this tier, that jet is going to be the fastest. So, Shockwave is probably going to be the highest reading. Yeah, 5,000 points already. Shockwave Viper. That was some nice shooting on his part. <clears throat> so I'm gonna change my spawn point here. Go for that garrison. Looks like my teammates are battling over whether they want to go for the garrison or protect the one we've got. Since I'm right here in the center, I'm probably gonna dive down. my YouTube channel, Coco Moose. I give ratings and reviews on various video games. Uh, right now we are reviewing World of War Planes. Doesn't look like we're doing so hot. When this bomber group gets here, they're going to drop their bombs and they will own this. So we're going to be done there. We should head over here and try and uh, reinforce and try and protect it. Yeah. So I've played this game long enough to know that's exactly what was going to happen there. There was no changing that situation. I don't see any enemy planes down there. They're all up high. So I'm going to try and make a climb with the speed I have. Hopefully this guy will come down. Oh, he looks like he's got a P-38. He might be difficult to catch until he comes down for his boom and zoom, which he might not do because they've got the advantage here, especially if he has bombs. And he's getting farther away from me, so it's not going to do me a lot of good to do that. So I'm going to change objectives here, go for this guy that's coming in. Make his life harder. As I'm holding my brakes right now, you can hear him blowing up. There he goes. Yeah, this before the flat guns come after me. Yeah. Don't want to be there. Hang in there. 
These guys are, these guys are going after our bombers. Slow down. Oh, he's got rear guns. I'm peeling off. I can't take all that gun. I can't take all that. Yeah, those guns are just gonna rip through me. Oh gosh, this looks like it's close, but no cigar. I don't think we're gonna pull this There's off. Maybe if I can get I can stay away from the enemy bombers and the enemy aircraft. That one out. That's a oh gunner. I think I'm familiar with him. Yep. And we're gonna dive down real low. Let him come after us. We'll take out his teammate here. I'm gonna slow down to a crawl now. He wants to get into a game. Cat and Mouse. We'll play Cat and Mouse. His teammate. He's after my my teammate. Hopefully, I can get in there. Attention, all aircraft. Nope. Call back and regroup. Now, if we could have taken over. We could have taken over one more objective and maybe gotten the points to 800 before they did. But see, that's the problem is, unless you take an objective quickly, it's difficult to return the favor. see where I ranked in my team score I'm afraid to look yeah not well at all um, see one two three four five six seven other players ahead of me um, he did really well so I'm gonna definitely add him to contacts on the other team you can see highest scoring with shockwave he took me out right off the bat. Did such a well job, such a such a good job. I hit him, add him to contacts. Um, usually, I will, uh, I'll uh, go into messages, like click on them, click on the plus sign, and you can private chat. It'll open up a private chat, and you can just say, "Hey, uh, good game," and uh, you know they may or may not reply but you know if they're a real person and they uh, and they just jump back into another another round somewhere they'll reply back usually the same um, which is always cool but that's uh, that's it for this for this game you got the uh, you got the gist of it um, you do have daily goals over here that you can uh, try and beat as you can see I've beaten some of them uh, each one is gonna have like a specialty like um, Based on the plane you're in, like when I switch to a tier one plane, you can see tier one is highlighted. One through four tier. Um, it wants you to earn the number of personal points when defending sectors. If I switch to say a five, I'm gonna want earn the required number of personal points when defending sectors here. And uh, the, goal, the rewards are gonna be different. And you're gonna get bonuses, free spirit. There you go. Likewise, it was close there for a while. Well fought. <coughs> <coughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. 
Okay, and um, the next tier after that is going to be when you get to 8, I believe, yeah. So this is the only plane I have that's capable of doing those next, the third grouping. Um, and that's where I've been having trouble, is I can't, can't seem to complete all these. So it looks like this one is completed. And this one is completed. Why is it completed, completed, completed when uh, partly completed? Daily missions can be completed only in the conquest mode. So uh, looks like we've we hit that one. So we're gonna replace that one, and probably replace that one. Next one is uh, sharp claws. Become one of the top two in your combat group by damage caused by ground. Two ground targets in the required number of battles. Each one is going to have um, different goals. So that's it. That's pretty much a, a quick, um, not so quick, hour long look at World of Warplanes. Um, feel free to join me and play the game. Add me as a friend if you do join the. If you do uh, jump in the game, I've got a couple of special tier specialty planes here that I was given as gifts um, from. Uh, Movie events going on and whatnot, and you can see the yellow banner and some of the planes that I've highlighted as my favorites. Every day, your planes get a experience times three, so your rewards that you get from that plane the first time you play it are going to be tripled. So if you're looking to earn more credits or gold. Um, or experience, then uh, that's the way to do it. Play those first. And that's that. Thanks all for joining, and hope you all have a great day. Keep being awesome.